Hello everybody, it's Nathan22 here with a quick little tutorial video. Now I've uploaded a video about how to make an applied logistics crafting system, but for some reason it had no sound and I did not notice until like a few, until just now actually. So, yeah that's what I'm doing right now, I'm recording another one. So let's get started. First thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna create a basic crafting system. I mean basic um AE system here. There's that stuff. Although you'll probably only need one or two. I'll just do one. Alright, gonna need some of that and trust me. This crafting system is pretty advanced. Especially after see what it does. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hook up an Emmy drive here, get that thing in there with storage, there we go, now I have some basic stuff. Now don't ask why I'm doing this, it's just easier on the resources, well not on resources but it's more manageable. So that's a basic AE system right there. Now for the fun part. And that's actually making the crafting system. So, there's actually a couple of things I need that I don't have. The molecular assembler. And something very, very important for this. That would be an interface. Okay. So, I don't need that anymore. Now, to create a basic AE system for crafting, first thing you need to do is you need to get yourself some molecular assemblers, some crafting storage, and some cold craft processing units. Now, these are not required, but you'll see what they do in a minute. Now this is something I did not do in my last one, so it's pretty good. But, first thing you need to do is you gotta get a molecular assembler. And you gotta put down one. Alright, just for this example, I'm gonna do one for now. So you can see what I have, what you need to do to get a crafting system going. And you gotta put an interface on it, like that. Now once that changes color, it's set to go. And you put your patterns here. Now to program your patterns, you're going to need one of, hold on a minute, no, alright, sorry about that, I figured it out, you need right here, it's this thing right here, a pattern terminal, and that allows you to encode patterns. Now where you actually put the patterns is in this thing right here. And this thing will craft everything. So that's, uh, oh yeah, and the best thing with this is you can use it with any eye without needing any extra mods. So, um, let's say I want to make, teach you how to make a pickaxe. Okay, sorry about that. Wooden pickaxe. Oh yeah, on a second note, you actually need the wood. You actually need the wood to be in here for it to work. Alright. Encode. And the best thing is, it can also be used as a crafting table, too. Alright, now to teach it how to do that with that. Voila. And all of the patterns that you encode go in here. So the stick and the pickaxe pattern, which means now I can request, say, no, not that many. 
Now it actually says what it's going to need. It needs a total of 40 of those, 20 sticks, to make that. But it says right here, no crafting CPUs are available. So that's the next thing we need to make. So, now just one of these things right here <coughs> will do. As you can see now, it can actually craft everything, but just for the sake of this, I'm going to make it easier. And you'll see why in a minute. So now, we can craft stuff. Now, at least hopefully. So let's say I request 10. Aha, see now it says it's, there's some available. So now that I started, here's the best part right here. This thing here is showing what's actually being crafted at this moment. Voila. Get out of here. Oops. Alright, so, that's how you make a basic crafting system. Now, with more of those things, you can actually make more and more stuff. Just like that. Now, it'll give you a lot more CPU power. Because, and actually, CPU power is actually very important. As you're about to see. See right here, it says it needs 218 bytes. Well, CPU is zero, has two of those 4K ones, so it can, can have up to that much. Now then, now that you know how to do that, let's talk about the coprocessing units, which will be these things. Now then, these things are actually more important when you got like more advanced things crafting. So like say, you want to teach you how to make batteries from industrial craft basically with just one of these things or only craft one thing at a time but you put down a few of these things here and now with that many that's one two three four five six seven it can now craft seven things at one time now when I say at one time I mean in the thick current thing that it's crafting so like say it's making batteries without those it would like say make one thing at a time but now with these things it'll, it can do seven things at once seven different things at once in the crafting that it's currently doing right now so so that's actually how you do that now now then let's also talk about like say you wanted to teach it Things like, you know, using a furnace to make stuff. <clears throat> so let's get a furnace very quick. Oh yeah, and I'll show you what that interface terminal does in a minute. So, if I just grab myself a furnace and some fuel. If I get rid of that, I don't need that anymore. And I grab a whole bunch of fuel. You can actually do the same thing that you used to be able to do a long time ago. So, I'll put the furnace, like, say, right here. I'll stop lagging. And then, I just gotta grab some interfaces right here. Put one on top of there. And, most importantly, an import bus on the bottom. Let me just grab one of those now, too. Export, import bus. Let me make sure that's actually facing the right way. Let me just put this in there. And let me teach you how to make wood. Let's say I'm going to grab a whole bunch of these jungle logs. Right now I'm going to teach you how to make charcoal now. So, first thing you need to do, you got to go to here. Do what you used to do before, you know. Like say you want to put this. Or equal. This, but, you notice I'm clicking and it's not going in there. 
Well, that's because this thing here is set the processing pattern. It's not set the processing, it's set the crafting. You click on here and it sets up the processing. So one output, and you can have up to three different outputs on this, but since it's only one, that's all we need to do right there. So let's encode that and put that in there like so. And now, so we, we press the 10. Okay, something's not right. Let's say we requested 10 of those. It's not working. And I think it actually might help if I actually have the materials that I need in there. Voila. So as you can see here, 10, let's do 10. I'm going to give it a quick start, and it should do it automatically. Yep, as you can see, the furnace is now going. It plopped 10 in there. Now, the, since this is charcoal, since this is charcoal, we don't really want to waste it. What you could do is you could do five, six, seven, eight. Since it's using charcoal as fuel, we could do that, and it would stick eight in there at one time. So let me just grab this old one and put that one in there. And you can actually click on this thing and see what this current setup right here is doing. Now the best part about this is that you can have another one. Well, let me just do that very quick. Well, I'm just going to set up another one here very, very quick. All I need is core craft. So I could just put that there and put some more of these things around it. Like that. This one won't be as strong, but you know what? Yeah, let's do that. So now, with the charcoal going, I can actually do this. I can tell it to craft that thing, and I'll automatically choose one. Code processing CPU zero. So let's give that a start. Now, as you can see right there, that thing was just doing sticks, and now it's doing that. So, that's actually how I could do that, but now let's, let me show you something else. That would be this, right here. The interface terminal. Now, this thing is handy when you have a lot, a lot of things. Now, by the way, on this one block, right there, on this block right here, you know this thing right here, molecular assembler, you can have a whole bunch of them. But you might be thinking that, what's the point of that? Well, in fact, you can have more of these things on each side like that, and that too, and even one right here on the bottom if I can get down there. So basically, you could practically go all along the whole bottom of this thing on all four sides. Now, all of the patterns for crafting items will always need to go on these interfaces right here. And I think you can actually use a bigger interface, too. Let me, let me grab one and check. So, applied air resistance. Let me just grab one of those giant interfaces. If I can find one. Interface. It's not working. Let me just grab one of those. I'll grab a wrench. I'm going to put that right there. I'm going to make sure it's facing upward. I don't know if that would really matter. There we go. Have that thing facing upwards. Now all we gotta do is connect these things with some cable. 
And voila, since each one holds nine, nine times nine, as you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So nine times twelve, and that's how many you can hold. So you can hold nine here, nine there, and you know, you get the point. But all that would probably get confusing. That's where this thing here, the interface terminal, comes in handy. It shows you all everything. Look at here, furnace. Creates eight charcoal with eight jungle wood. And here's the, all the molecular assemblers. And look, there's the patterns for the sticks and the um, wooden pickaxe right there. So, yeah, that thing actually now shows all the terminal, all the interfaces, all of them. So let's try crafting, say, ten more of this stuff now with the new pattern. See that? It said that it puts 16 in, so that's a good way to make sure that you don't waste too much coal. Now that thing, now the interface terminal does show like other objects from other mods too, so let's say, uh, what should I get? Something from industrial craft, let's say a, what's this? Let's say I get a. Uh, I was going to say an electric furnace instead of a regular one. So, all we got to do is put that down. If I did not lag, I would have put down only one. And let's put the term, the stuff on top, the interface on top. And the import bus on the bottom. And since this is that, I gotta supply it with some power. Let me just grab some power for this thing right now. Huh, that's weird. Alright, so let me just grab myself some cable here. I'm going to put it right here with a couple of solar power, solar panels on the back. And voila, now this thing is powered. So let's say I move this thing from here over to the new one. Like so. Now, when I Request things will start going in there, and this thing here, as you can see, block elect furnace. So I'm not sure if they're gonna fix that, but that's basically how you do this. All of this, you know, if anyone has any questions about anything else, you know, please feel free to ask. You know, I pretty much know quite a bit about this, even though it didn't seem like it at first because I couldn't figure out what the pattern thing was. But, now you know, and by the way, as you can see here, things require a certain amount of, basically RAM to make, that's what this stuff right here is, 1K, 4K, 16K, 64K. So that's basically what you need those things for. And. Yeah, I hope that this time it all actually all goes through, because I definitely don't want to record this again. So that's basically how I make a basic crafting system. So, yeah, please let me know what y'all think, and, well, goodbye.